We're broadcasting from New Fear Stadium in Snuffalo, home of the thrills, and the world-famous waterfall, Viagra Falls. I've never seen a waterfall that goes straight up before. It's weird. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the NFL. The team stormed the field. The lost scandalous damned battle. The Snuffalo Thrills. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to MFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr. Hey, man, these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. The quarterback had no time to throw and the defense gets a big sack. Ghost And that'll bring up third down and seven. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Second down in a very lot. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And that'll bring up third and one. Ball. First down. First down and three. This is your brain. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I had to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Uh, uh, uh. 
second down in a lot. Well, he made the pass, but then a slap in the face by the defense. Oh, that's me in the hotel bar every night. Hey, your opening line needs work. Why? Really? What's a pretty girl like you doing here all by herself? Are you a hooker? Huh? It's a fair question. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't... Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. First down and nine. say humans are the best dancers. Well, we invented dancing. Really? I thought it was demons. No, it was a human possessed by a demon. Yeah, I got, you don't know. You don't know. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called shitters then. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my offseason. Second down and more than the QB would like. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Third down and the punter is warming up. Great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Third down and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Third and four.
That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Third and four. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a thought, bitch. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. First and ten. If you don't hear it coming, he's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Caught for the first down. Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Should move them back nicely. 
He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. And that player just transformed into a giant lineman, swats the ball away with those meaty paws. What? It looks so snugly. Yeah, I guess if you're a monster. Second down and ten. <laughs> like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third down and ten. Two minutes remain in the half. Great! I gotta take a dump! Again? You just wet. How is that even possible? Ah, it's the nachos, man! Want some? Oh, that was a big hit! Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and like a monkey trap. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72. The QB saved some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And it's first and ten. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Why didn't the skeleton dance at the rap club, Grim? Yeah, I don't know. He had no body to dance with. <laughs> Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Whoa. Come on! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against the defense, knocking everyone down but his receiver. They knocked them right on their asses. <laughs> Second down in a mile. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally... And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out during halftime. Third down and, well, good luck. Defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. No more timeouts for the defense. Or the offense, Bricks. That's that's the important part. And they'll line up for the punt here. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into. And I'm it's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious frankenfood. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a silent beer?
The teams come out of halftime all tied up and ready to battle it out. Oh, geez, Grim, I hope someone ties them soon. They gotta play football. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if he can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Tell he's a berserker because he's dropping at the mouth. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, I'm still working on my salami here, Bruce. That's what she said. Oh, there goes the ball. It's a fumble. Is it still a fumble if his hands are attached to the ball? And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. <laughs> Second down and four. foot into that one nice catch and he turns on the afterburners put returners in this league have a life oh man he just laid the wood on that guy yeah if you're gonna hit a guy that hard you should at least kill him do him a favor man the 
reception. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down... That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful! And it's first and ten. That's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. And that's a run for no gain. Third down and eight. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, blow me. And they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt! Should move him back nice. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a thought being snagged. He got hit by a car and died. I just thought it's the Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And that pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. Third down and six. And the putter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm print. That cross stitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot. Hot one. Hot. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it.
Third down and eight. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball, dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The punt goes into the end zone, and it's a touchback. And it's first and ten. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. Sleep. <laughs> One yard on that pass. Third and four. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense couldn't do anything to stop us throwing that good, man! You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their play. Oh, and he just turned ginormous. Look out! <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And it's first and ten. Great run for a nine-yard gain. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> this guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Bricks' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. Oh, man, the defense brought a sack lunch today. Hey, hey, don't eat him. Not until he's cooked. They've got to pick up the quarterback, just use his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. 
Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Okay, Bricks. Let's go get the car warmed up, huh? It's not a real... The Snuffle Thrills win at home! And these guys are usually freezing their footballs up, but today their balls were the biggest. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because I, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard and shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. <laughs> with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhar Corporation. They get it right every up.